Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make yummy, delicious apple pie bars. Okay, so what you're going to need are pitted dates. I guess you could get ones at the pit, but then you'll just have to take them out. So these ones I found at our Albertsons. I got these dried apples. I got the ones that are just the freeze-dried apples. They don't have any sugar or anything. It's just apple. Walnuts. Raisins. Um, almonds. And cinnamon. Let's go ahead and we're going to put this all in the food processor. And then just put them in a thing and put them in the fridge. So easy. And um, I know that the reason I have this is my grandson my daughter sent him with this little bar that he had they had gotten like from Target or something and they're so good. I tried it looks so weird but I went ahead and I tried a little piece and I had to, I had to try a little piece and we we're like oh my gosh that's so good so then I had to go on the hunt for how to make these this is what I found just five ingredients mix it up put it in the fridge and you have these so I haven't tried them yet homemade I'm hoping that they turn out just as good I don't see why not so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we need two cups of the pitted dates. And if you don't have a food processor, I'm sure you could use a blender, um, but you would probably need one of those because, yeah, it needs to be all blended up together. I haven't looked up food processors. I got this years and years ago um, as a wedding gift. Um, you know, so that was a long time ago. If any of you guys know my story, I'm not married anymore. So, um, yeah. So I don't even know how much they they are or anything, but I think you could probably get them for a pretty decent price. Um, so, let's see. And then we have the freeze-dried apples. I found these. They had several different ones at my store, but all of them had added sugar. I just wanted... I didn't want... I wanted these to be healthy, you know. Oh, let me get the scissors real quick. Okay. Yeah, I wanted these to be healthy, and so these ones didn't have sugar, but they came in these little separate pouches. I had this big one, and then it just came in these separate four, four pack. So I was like, well, you know, it doesn't matter as long as they're they don't have the added sugar. It's just apple, and you can do whatever you want. It's just I'm tr we're trying this new thing called eating healthier <laughs> and it's been going pretty good we haven't been doing it for very long so um, we're trying to you know watch look at the ingredients and on things and all that good stuff that comes along with it okay there's a cup of these and I'll definitely put the recipe down below I just googled it it was kind of hard because there were several different things, but I did find this one. This one seemed pretty legit, like the closest one to it. So, this I halved walnuts. I just, I don't, it doesn't really say halved walnuts on here, but it doesn't matter. They're walnuts. They're going to all be ground up anyway. So, whatever you can find bits, pieces, walnuts, half a cup of those. Half a cup of the almonds. There we go. And half a cup of raisins. So it's pretty easy. Two cups pitted dates. One cup dried apple slices. Half a cup walnuts. Half a cup almonds. And half a cup raisins. And then we're going to cut half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So pretty easy. Not a, not a lot of ingredients, which is good also. Um, I don't think these raisins probably have added stuff, but let me look and see. No, ingredients, raisins. Awesome. <laughs> that's what we want. We want to be able to see and, you know, know everything that's in there and pronounce everything that's in there. Okay, and then a teaspoon. And I don't see why we wouldn't like these, but I hope that these are good. Okay, that is it. Now we are going to just pulse this up for two to three minutes. Well, it doesn't say pulse, but I'm going to start with the pulse. And so this is what I'm going to do. 
and I will come back once it's all mixed up. All right, here we are. I'll just kind of show you. It looks good. It's kind of pasty. It's all mixed up. Let's take the lid off. Mm. Okay, now you're going to use... Scooch that over. And have a dish. An 8 by 8 Line with parchment paper. It doesn't want to stay, but we're going to make it stay. Sorry for my arm in the way there. Okay. Let's dump this in there. little piece off here. We don't want anything go to waste. And then we're just going to smush this down. And I did see um, that you could put these in balls as well. So that might be more of what you would want. I might do balls next time if I like these. I don't see why not. <laughs> and we're going to put these in the fridge for an hour. And then we'll come back and, and paste them. But yeah, I, I don't see, I mean, it's dates and raisins. Those are sweet anyway, so the balls might be, I don't know. I guess it's just like what you want, you know. And then you can do these full size or half size. I know it looks really weird because I know, like I said, when my grandson came, <laughs> my barber sent him over with a, <laughs> those bars and I was looking at it and I was like, I mean, okay, five ingredients, cool, that's good. Um, but then when you looked at it, I was just like, huh. And I gave it a little sample and I was like, okay, these are good. I'm trying to make it as even as possible. This little section here is... Okay. Smushed it all in there, and the good thing is it's not real sticky, so it's not like really, really sticking to my hands. It's a little sticky, of course, but it's not bad enough that it's bad. This parchment paper is going to drive me insane. It's good that it's big because it's getting to all the sizes, all the edges and everything, but it's in the way. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for an hour, and then we will come back and, and sample this. Okay, so here they are. I just took them out of the fridge. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of there. I have a cutting board here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut them. I thought they'd be hard, but they're not. They're so chewy. Oh my gosh. This is awesome, you guys. I don't know. You can cut them however you want. I don't know if I'll do, should we do bite size or should we do bar size? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I thought these would be hard. That's why I even put them on, on a cutting board. I probably wouldn't have used a cutting board if I would have known they were going to be so chewy. And yeah, then you can just wrap these up. Okay, should we do this or one more? Mm, let's do both. So we'll have some of the long ones and some of the smaller ones. And yes, let's go ahead and sample these. I'm excited. Okay, so I have the little piece here. Mmm. It's really good. It's not exactly like those, which is fine. But it's really good. It's a nice little treat really sweet and chewy so healthy it has nothing bad in it but it is really good I like those a lot I'll definitely put a recipe down below thank you all for watching and I hope you all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week and I will see you all in my next video bye